um, an activity called I'm in trouble. So that's all we know so far. And what I want you guys to do within hopefully 20 questions is find out what's going on. I'm someone that you work with and you have noticed that I'm calling in sick quite a lot. That's all you know. Um, yeah, I'm feeling pretty hungover. Anyway, I've got to get on with work. Thanks, Jack. Thanks, Tom. Um, uh, uh, I don't really want to talk about what I did last night. Uh, uh, no, it wasn't fun. Um, yeah, just got lots going on. Um, yeah, just not making good decisions. Yeah, I don't know how much help talking will do. Uh, what decisions? Uh, I, I, yeah, uh, I got caught drink driving last night. I'm just really ashamed. It's not something that I've ever, you know, I'll never get in trouble. So I don't know what's going on. This is a really tricky thing. Um, I don't even know what I'm talking about it. So. Yeah, super, I just, I just don't know. It's, oh, I've got to go to court or something. Um, yeah, yeah, that'd be really great. Yeah, I'd love to go for a coffee. I just, just need a bit of time just to figure out what's going on because it all seems to be going wrong. That's a big question. Yeah, what made me drink? Um, I just, you know, I, I just find in that, I'm on my own quite a lot, you know. My my partner just left like last week, and ever since they're gone, I'm just a mess. Don't really know what to do, just on my own. So, got drunk, drove home, got caught. Gonna lose my license. Probably means I'm gonna lose my job. I appreciate that, Jack. Thank you. Yeah, just. Not really quite sure what I need to do next. And at that point, I'm getting loads of help. Anyone being sort of touched upon by people in trauma or crisis. It's a tricky thing to have to deal with. And actually being able to say yes or no, being able to offer boundaries, being able to provide safe environments for people to talk, being able to choose those based on the knowledge of what you know about that person. All those are really key. Being able to listen to them, knowing that you might not be able to fix what's going on for them. Certainly can't fish back a absent partner or a split marriage. But that doesn't mean that they shouldn't be able to talk about it or that you're not able to hear them out. If things happen where you're just like, oh, I'm really not sure, you can fall back on the great phrase, which is, do you know what? You need some expert help with this. Because, it, you know, I don't feel qualified or capable to understand it. I'll, I'll listen for as much as you, I can. But, you know, you're, you're going through a lot. That's okay. That's okay to let someone know that. Because you're validating their emotions. Often, traumatic things and irrational situations occur from us not being able to validate our own situations our own experiences and that's where traumatic things come from the body and the brain not being able to understand the situation is often a really good signifier of something traumatic happening it's just how it is and so if we give people time and space to be able to say hey what's up where are you where you at let's talk let's chat let's find a safe quiet place to do that Let's direct you to other people that can help. These are good things to be able to do.